Now let's try to find out a reduction formula for tan raised to power nx dx. Okay. So tan raised to power nx I can write as tan raised to power n minus 2x dot tan square x. Right. So I end up with this and this I can write as sec square x minus 1. Right. So what I am going to get is tan raised to power n minus 2x sec square x minus 1 dx. Okay. So this is essentially what? This is integral minus of tan raised to power n minus 2x. Right. Tan raised to power n minus 2x dx plus tan raised to power n minus 2x sec square x dx. Okay. Now this guy is essentially of the form fx raised to power n f dash x. Okay. Where what is your fx? Your fx is equal to tan x, right? So if your fx is tan x, f dash x is sec square x dx. So you have this over here and this is your fx. So the value of this integral is what? The value of this integral is equal to tan raised to power n minus 1x upon n minus 1 because this essentially transforms into y raised to power n dy and the value of this is y n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Okay. So over here your n is n minus 2 therefore n minus 2 plus 1 is n minus 1 upon n minus 1. So you've got the value of this integral and the other guy which is this guy is essentially i n minus 2 okay your i n is tan raised to power n x dx okay therefore n minus 2 is tan raised to power n minus 2 x dx which is this guy okay so your relation is this is minus or you can write it like this you can have it as tan raised to power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 x plus i raised to power or i not plus rather minus i n minus 2. Okay. So if you solve for this guy which is cot raised to power n x dx in a similar fashion you are going to get i n is equal to minus of cot raised to power n minus 1 x upon n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. Okay. So your reduction formula for cot raised to power n x dx is this and for tan raised to power n x dx is this. Okay. So you have a minus instead of a plus over here. Okay. So just see what is happening. We are reducing by a power of 2. Okay. So whether I have tan raised to power nx or cot raised to power nx, I would end up with n minus 2, n minus 2. If I keep on doing this, then depending upon whether n is even, if n is even, then you are going to end up with 0. Okay. So you are going to end up with tan raised to power 0x or cot raised to power 0x which is essentially 1. Okay. So you are supposed to solve this integral. Okay. And you know how to solve. This is equal to x. Right. If n is odd then you are going to end up with either tan raised to power 1x or cot raised to power 1x, okay, which is tan x or cot x, okay, 